Uh, so what's your experience with getting a prepaid meter from your disco? Let's know on Twitter by sending us a message at Just Nigeria TV. Still dwelling on electricity. While authorities in Nigeria continue to seek lost in solutions to power outage and blackout, 26-year-old Emeka Nelson may have found light at the end of the tunnel, motivated by the death of his friend caused by generator fume poisoning. Emeka decided to produce a generator that runs on water. Is this mission impossible? Let's find out. Welcome to Anambra in Southeast Nigeria. I am in Oka, the state capital, to tell the story of a young man whose invention could attract global attention. Nelson is not a certified engineer. He was born under a tree in a village, struggled to read in elementary school, worked as a house help at age five, has no university education, yet he dreams of making positive worldwide impact. This may look like a scrapyard, but it is Nelson's comfort zone where he thinks out of the box. Structural drawings and designs are clipped to the wall and like a religion, Nelson's devotion is wholehearted. For 16 consecutive years, he has committed himself to making his dream turn to reality. He wanted to make a generator that runs on water. During my JS3, that was the first ever one that was able to give me AC volt, which is 220 volt. Most of the materials for making his generator were sourced from junkyards. His first prototype exploded when it was tested. This cast a shadow of doubt on his project. People never believed it's possible. After years of toy, he earned his Eureka moment. One night in his laboratory, he says, he got his design right and his generator finally worked. Talk me through what you have here. Okay, um, first of all, this is just the control panel. Okay. This is uh, output, whatever the generator brings out, we receive it from here. Okay. Then this is uh, just the casing covering the whole stuff. That's a gas cylinder. It's a gas cylinder that I, I turned into, most, even the turbine, everything. It's inside here. The turbine is in there. It's in, it's oh, in here. Great. Then here we have the water. This replaces the water tank. Okay. Then we have your pump. The the water just goes goes in into this machine through here and through here. Okay. Then so it returns back. So the through turbine here. then turns, turns the water yeah. in the tank. Yeah. It comes back through here. Okay, so where, did the, where does the energy come from? How do you generate the energy? The, energy? the energy actually comes from this battery, first of all. It's a starting point. I need to put, plug in this battery to the machine, connect it to the machine. Then I want to start it. It brings out another power that recharges the battery. Nelson has just shown me what goes into his generator and now it works. Now I want to practically just try out if indeed this generator would work. So this is our water here. Oh, this is just a drinking water. Nelson says his generator has maximum output capacity of 1,000 watts and his voltage fluctuates between 220 and 240. He says a liter of clean water could power it for six hours. It has zero emission and it is environment friendly. Beyond just testing Nelson's generator in his laboratory, we have decided to come and see if it could potentially power an entire room and that is what we're about to do now. Nelson might just have developed an alternative to fossil engines which contribute to global warming. What Nelson has been able to do is to use the normal water, you know, inside a simple tank. Now using a DC generator to be able to pressurize the water enough to be able to drive that turbine. It drives the turbine at 860 RPM. 
So that for me is is a, is a big deal. Nelson has brought out this project using the principle of electromagnetic in, magnetic induction by Faraday. Faraday actually states that an electricity or what we call an electromagnetic force is induced when a coil is made to pass through changing magnetic field. For six hours, the generator would power different household appliances that fall within its 1,000 watts capacity. After this comes its downtime. It is not about um, a structural um, uh, defect or maybe the, um, uh, a kind of error in the concept. So it might be because of the nature of the components, which of course can be improved upon. What we have seen in this project has no danger as of now. No gas emission like our regular carbon monoxide that will come out from our, I pass my neighbor, 1 kVA generator. In 2018, his mini hydropower project won him a second place in the Anambra State Talent Exhibition Program. We agree that it's really an innovation and it's something we, we must have to take up and uh, not just let it die. Nelson might have just started a journey to providing solutions to problems limiting development across some African communities. Nelson has produced a prototype of his hydropower generator. He said his dream is for the generator to be in millions of homes across the world. Right now, the prototype is undergoing tests and evaluation. Abayomi Adisa, Gist Nigeria.